Now that we're pretty comfortable working with static types, you're probably wondering how we handle objects. Well, good news, everyone! We're going to talk about that today. In fact, let's start out by doing something awful. Imagine we have the following data. Uh, apologies in advance to the 98% of you who don't care about basketball. Alright, that there is an object full of all sorts of data. We've got strings, numbers, booleans, and an array of strings. Sweet. Let's create a TypeScript function that does stuff with this data. This is the part that's awful. Uh, quick note, the reason we're getting this object.entries error is because to use object.entries we need to configure TypeScript to support ES2017. We can do this with a config file, which would get rid of the error in our editor, but for the purposes of this tutorial we're just going to compile with the following command. tsc-target ES2017 example.ts. First, however, we have to save this file. When we compile this, we get some complaints. Aha! Starts, not starters. Should have noticed that in the editor. Save that and try it again. There we go, much better. Now if we run that, we see that it runs and correctly logs the keys and values for our object. That's great. And in a vacuum, I suppose that function we wrote isn't even that awful. But imagine you had 10 functions, or 100, that all did different things using that object. Suddenly we're writing out a lot of types and really making our code difficult to read. There's got to be a better way, right? Well, there is. Interfaces. Without getting too complicated, TypeScript interfaces allow us to define a schema for an object once and use it whenever we need it. Here's how. Note that this is not a variable. There's no equal sign, and we're using semicolons between lines instead of commas. TypeScript knows how to read this, and it will be removed entirely from your code at compile time, once the error checking process is finished. Anyway, now that we have it, we can write much cleaner and easier to read functions, like this. Once again, I screwed up. This is the whole point of TypeScript, though. It allows you to find these kind of errors. All right, save. So that's a lot better, right? The best thing is you can reuse the interface as many times as you want. You can even export it like an ES6 variable and import it in other files. So if you're using a modular approach to your project, you don't have to keep redefining interfaces for the same variables. Let's check out our output now. There we go. Worked exactly the same. Let's go ahead and create another object that will break when we try to use our interface. Now we can already see we're getting an error in VS Code, but let's go ahead and try to compile this. Same complaint. Type string is not assignable to type boolean. That's because we set good this year to a string, but we've defined it in our interface as a boolean. We have multiple options from here, either fix our data or change the interface to accept multiple types. Personally, I'd go with the former. Done. Compiles. Runs. But. I leave it up to you. That's all I've got for this week. Next week, we'll discuss a few other things about TypeScript and wrap up this gentle introduction. See you then.